Bit of fat shaming is a good thing, right? I oh, think shit, that man. when people say to me, you put on a bit of timber, mate, it makes me go back and try and lose a bit of timber. Eat a bit less, drink a bit less, get on my Peloton bike, off we go, right? I, I need to have people look at me going, hey, big boy, lose a bit. That's so ironic, right? because whenever we mention it on air, as a joke, you complain oh, no, about no. it. I do that to you, because yes. you're the great virtue signalling, we can't say anything negative about anybody's body image, <laughs> Everyone's perfect. Yes. I don't agree. I think a bit of fat shaming is a good thing, a healthy thing. What do you think, Angelina? I think you're wrong. This does not sound right, unless the person is preaching obesity, but do you agree? I love British people. You put a bit of timber on mate. I like peers, but it's no one's business the size of my body. If I get sick, it won't affect them. Bro, the comments. I spat my coffee out at the end everyone, not just the select few. Well, Jaylene Cheney made global headlines this weekend after claiming fat people are entitled to extra seats on planes because they're so fat. She said all plus-sized passengers should be provided with an extra free seat or even two or three seats depending on their size to accommodate their needs and ensure their comfort during the flight. Well, look, uh, Jaylene, uh, you can have your extra seat, you can have 10 extra seats. But you've got to pay for them. Why should you be entitled to special treatment, raising the cost of travel for everybody else? Because you're obese. The fact may be that plain seats are not that comfortable, but free seats are a little too much. As a large person, I acknowledge that it's my fault and will sit uncomfortably for the duration of the flight. It's not my neighbor's responsibility. I am not fat by choice, it's the food fault. What about the toilet? If you don't mind me asking, how much do you weigh? Look, I'm not going to talk about numbers because the thing is, when you... Well, when I think I, you should. I mean, no, you no, are... no, no, the thing is, if I give you the, the number of how much I weigh, it's going to be all over the sun, all those trashy newspapers tomorrow morning. I don't need it. Don't need it. Well, you don't need it. it. You're on, no, you're no, on no, TikTok no, every no, day showing is, us how big you are. Yeah, and look... And you're no, proud of it. No, 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 no. No, no, there's a difference. There's proud, and then there's just being positive in my own skin. And that's what I am. Right. You've managed not to end up as George has weight wise. I don't mean to denigrate you, George. It could be saying, genetics, though, couldn't it? it you know, no, it no, it's be, not. It could be enough. Yeah. Many, many what it is, I don't think it's genetics. It's, it's, no, no. It, I, I believe it's because my parents were like cool hippie vegetarians, whereas um, George's were not. And, are, are you and... comfortable? You've got a, a son, right? Mm -hmm. Are you comfortable about his current weight? Do, um, do you think when he, when he does this stuff on TikTok, are you really laughing or are you concerned about him? I'm, I, I'm concerned not so much about his weight, but more about um, his well-being and, you know... Well, the two go hand in hand. I think all of it is for attention and audience growth. That didn't go well, did it? Loved it. She's definitely got a big life insurance policy on him. He wasn't that big when they met. Why are they talking about him like he's not there? 